There were people of patience gathered from the cable hall for humble penitent women, little children at your call. They are gathered here before you, and our hearts are just the same, filled with joy at such a vision as we praise your name.
for you. You come and pray for me. You got it. Yeah. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Thomas died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory.
let us pray. Hear with favor our prayers, which we humbly offer, O Lord, for the salvation of the soul of Thomas, your servant and priest, that he who devoted a faithful ministry to your name may rejoice in the perpetual company of your saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, we will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of all the people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day, it will be said, behold our Lord, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked, let us rejoice and be glad that he saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains like a criminal, but the word of God is not a chain. Therefore, I believe I, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we preserve, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus.
Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. Our Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for all good and good of all this holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, Thomas, your servant and priest, may behold with clarity forever what he faithfully ministered here. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts which we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and broke and gave, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death for Lord Until you come again Therefore Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. The 
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we implore your kindness, O God, for Thomas, your servant and priest, that as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may make him bring him to be nourished by their truth and reality as unveiled in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we conclude our celebration, on behalf of the Archdiocese of Newark, I'd like to offer my sincere condolences to Monsignor Madden's family, thanking you for the love and support you've given him. 
I thank my brother priests who are here today to celebrate and to walk in faith, and taking our, our brother to the risen Lord. And I thank in a special way Father Carlson for that marvelous homily. You brought out how important gratitude is for all the gifts that surround us, and especially for us priests, the gratitude of friendship that supports us in good times and in bad. I thank Father Michael Donovan for and the, the Queen of Peace family here, where Father Monsignor Madden spent, I believe, two decades serving the people of God. And finally, I thank him for the witness of faith and perseverance that we don't just survive as priests, that we flourish. And I heard a little secret that, uh, about his life from one of his uh, co-residents at St. John Vianney Center. He said that uh, at 3 o'clock, you could set your watch by it. Monsignor Madden would make the way of the cross. And I was thinking about that since I heard it and thought, Maybe he was doing it because in, in his own weakness, he shared the sufferings of his Savior. But I thought he was also doing it because he realized that there was something after the 14th station, that as God was faithful in raising Christ from the dead. So now, as we say goodbye to you, Monsignor Madden, we count on the faithfulness of God, who will raise him to new life. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. To your hands, Father of mercy, we commend your priest and our brother Thomas in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with Christ on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, Turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, 
and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and are with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us take our brother to his place of rest. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exulens filii ege, a te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hoc lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, Advocata nostra, illes tuo, misericordes ocula, a nos condemne, et ye 
Team Watch. choice, this one on the bottom. This is Matsunir's nephew. Uh, yeah, 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 we know people. Yeah, yeah. Top Russia. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank, thank, thanks to Jennifer. Yeah, very close to the Rampo. The Fenian Brotherhood. Isn't that a Bulgarian society? That's correct. <laughs> 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 That's like a <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a couple of Fenians in my house too. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. It was wonderful to play with you. Thank you. How are you making it since uh, oh. with this whole COVID Just turning it into a big jelly ball. I uh, just actually you know, we have these water jugs that, mm -hmm. and when I change them I try to do a couple of curls. <laughs> but I can't do much. Yeah. Yeah, I go just down the street here in Kearney and you know, there's an LA Fitness house in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. But I ride a bicycle every morning and it's just 